I come bearing gifts, as it has been confirmed that Quantum Break will be coming out on the PC as well as the Xbox One, and both versions will be releasing at the same time, which is of course the release date of April the 5th. Now this is an official confirmation by both Remedy and of course Microsoft. It's unclear whether the PC game was developed in-house at Remedy or if perhaps it was handed off to another developer. And they didn't discuss any information as to any performance, resolution or anything like that, differences between the PC and Xbox One versions. However, they did give details of some nice bonuses. For anyone who is going to be purchasing the Xbox One version of this game, it will include a full game download of their last game, Alan Wake, alongside two DLC add-ons, The Signal and The Writer. And if you pre-order the Xbox One version at participating retailers, you'll get access to the American Nightmare, which is a standalone expansion which was released after Alan Wake and its respective DLC. And naturally there's also going to be an Xbox One bundle which will have a white Xbox One with a 500 gig hard drive, Quantum Break and of course Alan Wake itself. Now further to this, this is a really nice offer I have to say, for a limited time for anyone who pre-orders the digital version, the digital version of Quantum Break for Xbox One through the Xbox Store, will get the Windows 10 version of the game for free, which will be downloadable with a redemption code. Now this will apply for those who redeem a digital code purchase from participating retailers or from the Xbox One Special Edition Quantum Break bundle. Now this offer is running from today, which is February the 11th to April the 4th, 2016. So basically you have until the day before this game actually releases to get on this. So if perhaps you're interested in the Xbox One version but want the PC version or vice versa, you're going to basically get two versions of the same game uh, at once, which is kind of nice. And this is actually official on the Quantum Break website. There is a nice FAQ there as well for those of you who want to get more information. It will be in the description below. The information doesn't stop there. This is the last piece of information I have for the PC version of Quantum Break. And that is the recommended and minimum requirements for the, the actual Windows 10 version. And this is actually recommending Windows 10 on minimum and recommended specs. So for anyone who's yet to upgrade do keep that in mind. So, the minimum is of course Windows 10 DX12, that being one of the few games to actually utilise DX12. You will need an Intel Core i5-4460 at 2.7GHz or AMD FX6300. GPU-wise you'll need a GTX 760 or R7-260X with 2 gigs of VRAM, 8 gigs of RAM and 55 gigs of hard drive space. As for recommended, it's all the same on OS and DirectX side, but you'll need an Intel Core i7-4790, 4 GHz or AMD equivalent. They sadly do not provide an AMD equivalent here. GPU-wise, you'll need pretty hefty ones here. We've got the 980 Ti or the Radeon R9 Fury X with 6 gigs of VRAM and 16 gigs of RAM. And naturally, the hard drive space is the same. So, there you have it. Quantum Break is coming out on the PC on the same day as the Xbox One version. And you can actually get it for free if you pre-order the Xbox... Sorry, the Xbox One version for the Xbox Store until April the 4th and some bundles and stuff as well. So... Good stuff indeed, or even if the specs for the recommended are a little bit hefty on the GPU side. Still nice to see this game making its way to PC. I very much enjoyed Alan Wake, and I'm looking forward to seeing what, Alan, uh, sorry, what Quantum Break actually is, because that would be great. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.